the special thing of lighting design um, in relation or in, in the theme of product design is that you work with a material that is a non-material. The way how we approach the design is we start very early to get into three model, 3D models. We very early, we build mock-ups that have the light already included. Uh, so it does not make sense to stick to drawings and to computer renderings long time. It, it helps a lot to go into the workshop and put something together just roughly and then to, um, to have a look on it, how, how the light is involved in the whole thing. And I think that is a, a, a big part of the Ingo Maurer design that we work with the perception of light as a whole. If you have something, a, a light, a, a lamp, a, a light object, and um, you certainly can divide the, the, the form, the shape, the outside from the light effect. You can look at both differently, but when you develop that thing, when you work on the design, you should always keep these two things together. You can judge one or the other differently, separately, but working on it should be like, a harmony. If you have, are on a, on a keyboard of a, a piano, you press two tones and they, they hum together. So that is maybe a comparison how you should treat the shape and the light. Because of course some people want to buy a lamp because of their light. They are looking for a certain kind of light and that's what they look for but they will be very happy if it comes with a strong and adequate, uh, ad adequate um, um, shape. And the other way around, if someone finds a lamp that he really likes to look at, you, you give him so much more when he turns it on and he realizes that there is more than it, the, it the looks. How can we design something that connects immediately because you also want to get the people who scroll through the internet or who walk by a window to, to get them like, wow, what is that? And then on the second run, you want them also to, to look at these things for a long, long time and, and always like it, still like it, maybe in another way. New lighting technology is always a source of new things new ideas, new tools, new possibilities. And we embrace all new technology that comes along. And I must say, the curve got a little bit flat, more flat. The, the technology had a, a huge boost the last 15, 20 years. Now it seems like uh, there is quite a lot of weight on LED and there were some other technologies that kind of vanished. But I must say, uh, it's not only the, the technology that, that pushes us, it's also um, the requirements that, that get to, and I, I would say these requirements, they grow faster and faster. It's requirements of, as you said, human-centric lighting, it's a requirement of medical um, views that come into play. It's the requirement of the client that wants to use the, the uh, light fixtures in a different way with different tools. He wants to integrate it in, in a kind of mesh. And um, then of course we have um, environmental uh, requirements that are um, finally getting really important. And we have social requirements that also, they are in the product design um, world getting more and more important, and of course, also for lighting.